The next type of a statement which is available which helps you to take a decision is if else. How if else work? How it is different from if? Let us understand that in detail. As you can see here is that normally an if statement will execute if an expression is true. But what if an expression is not true? What is the other block of statements to be executed if the condition is not true? In those cases, we use if else statement and this else statement is optional. It is not necessary that every if statement should be followed with an else. So, but in this case, we will try understanding how if else work. We use an if keyword, provide a boolean expression and then provide the braces. In that braces, we provide saying that these block of statements are to be executed if the condition is true. And if the condition is not true, outside the braces, we provide an else keyword. And this else keyword, remember, should not be there with a semicolon because semicolon means end of the statement whereas else here is again a method like where you provide a braces again a statement which needs to be executed. So it is just in a general term if you are trying to take a decision you are saying that we want to take this decision or this particular path. If you are not taking this particular path there is always an alternative path right but if there is only one path the alternative path may or may not be available. It is the same case with if else there may be one if statement but else may or may not be ok. So let us understand in detail with the help of a graph. We say that if the condition is met true please execute the block of statements this is what if works. Now it says if the condition is false what is the other block of code to be executed. So the difference between if and if else would be if the condition is true please execute and terminate but in case of if else there is an if statement there is also an else statement. So let us understand in detail with the help of a class. We have created an example with a class called test under the main method we have created a variable of integer type where the value is 30 and how we write if else statement here is that under if keyword under the bracket will provide a boolean expression and if this expression is true it will execute the code or the block of statements written inside the if statement if not we write an else keyword outside that block and then again we provide a block for an else statement and we write whatever we have to execute. In this case x value is 30 it will check if 30 is less than 20. Is 30 less than 20? No. If it was less than 20 then the value of if statement would have been executed but because here the value of x that is 30 is not less than 20 therefore the else statement would be executed and it will print this is an else statement. So let us run this program practically for our better understanding. In this example, we will explain how does if else work. As you have seen earlier, what is if and how do we write the syntax. In case of if, it checks for a particular condition. If the condition is met, it executes the block of statement and then terminates and does not print or execute any other block of statements. Whereas in case of if else, what it does is that it first try checking the condition. If the condition is met, it will execute a particular set of statements. If the condition is not met, that is else, then it should print or execute the rest of the statements. We have created an integer int x equals to 30. So, how do we write the syntax? If the keyword in the braces, the condition which is x is less than 20, please print or execute the rest of the statements or the block of statements. Else, we write outside the block of if, we write else, the keyword and then the block of statements to be executed. So is x less than 20? Is 30 less than 20? No. Therefore, the if condition is not met, then what else should be executed? It says, if it is not equal to or less than 20, please print the value of x. Let us save this file and execute the program to see the output. 
it says the x is 30 and this is else statement. Now, what if we change the value of x as 10 to see what would be the output? It says the x value is 10 and this is f statement. Why? Because x the value holding 10 is less than 20. Therefore, it will print or execute the block of statements under if.